the game there. Did you pay for it? Yeah, I'll go for it. They just came out with an RP. I don't know what the RP is. It's the lower, the lower end of the list. It's probably still a piece of dumb. Alright, guys. Alright, I got the Nifty 50. He said it, guys. The Nifty 50. Alright. You, you would not be paying attention. Before I close out this live, what did we learn today? Uh, you can't buy lenses if they ain't came out yet. And, uh, yeah. And what else we learned today? And Malika's on restriction from buying stuff. <laughs> teach, us, uh -uh. teach us about, uh, about focus. Oh, okay, we want to know about some focus stuff, okay. So if you want that blurry background, if you want that bokeh, if you want to defocus things, you need to make sure your F number is as low as possible. You need to make sure you know how to operate a camera. Oh, wait, that's not one of the tips. Sorry, sorry. Uh, that's pretty much all that matters. You want a low F number. The lower the F number, the better. Your aperture number, you know, however you want to call it. What's lower the F, F number. number? It's your aperture. What's the aperture? Your aperture is the thing that allows light into the camera. The thing? The thingy thing? Yeah, the thing, the thing <laughs> is the thing. The thing, you'll see it close and you'll see it get big. So any camera has this? Huh? Any camera can do this? Any DSLR or mirrorless, so if you can see, as we, as we zoom in, it kind of does the same type of effect. But you have this huge lens on it. So, you tell me the lens is what's doing that? No, no, no. You also have the ability to adjust the aperture. We don't have it set up out here. So, you know, we're screwed. But, we need to set that up on one of the rings. Yeah, so, we need to set that up on so one of the rings. So, we need a $1,000 lens to get a good bokeh. No, you do not. You can actually get a good bokeh with a cheap lens. But, you know, it may affect your quality just a little bit. You may not be as crisp, may not be as buttery, but you can still achieve that bokeh quality. As this guy was talking about, you can probably do it with a $100 lens. So there it is. All right. So bokeh yeah. is the dope focus. Bokeh, yeah, is the blurry background part, the defocus. You don't need yep. expensive lens. You don't necessarily need an expensive lens. But you kind of do lens. need a DSLR. Yeah. Because DSLRs are good for that, that blurry background and yep. that blurry subject. Yeah, and like for what we're trying to do tonight, for what we're trying to do tonight, for what we're trying to do tonight, we're wanting to be able to use manual focus, and if, especially if you don't have a DSLR type of camera, then you're not going to have the manual focus switch on here. And what'll happen is if you're in autofocus and you're trying to autofocus on like somebody's face for like what we're trying to do, we're trying to blur out these weights, we're trying to put the person's face in focus, and what would happen in autofocus mode, as soon as the weights get in front of the person's face, the camera's gonna focus in on the weights. And you don't want that to happen. So you flip it in on manual focus, get it focused into the person's face, and when the weights go in front of the person's face, the weights will still stay defocused, and you'll have that dope, buttery, cinematic footage. But we're struggling right now because our F number is... It's F4, right? It's F4, yeah. It's not quite low enough. Yeah, we need that low, low, low lumber yeah. for that bo, 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 bo. Lower the better. The bet, like the yeah, best optimal the best. you can get, I think that, that they make is like a, I think so. a point eight. A oh, point eight is like the best you can get, but that gets really expensive. And uh, generally when you get a, a point eight, you cannot, you're not going to get like a telescoping lens like this. It's going to be a prime lens, which means it's going to only have one uh, what do you call that? Uh, yeah, it's not gonna zoom, like you had no zoom capabilities and it's probably gonna be something that's gonna be like a 50 millimeter lens. I'm not sure what it may be, but it's, it's just gonna be a fixed lens. It's not gonna, you're not gonna have any telescoping abilities. No zooming in abilities. Uh, but yeah. I think some of the best you can get with telescoping abilities is like a 2.8. I think that's about the best it's out right now. Might be able to get a little bit better than that. But hey, we got what we got. So we're talking about spending money. Here we go. All right, we'll, we'll figure we'll figure stuff out. I need to get spending this. Money. <laughs> he should have figured it out when he bought it. <laughs> figured out what? How to get that bokeh. Everything you needed for that bokeh. Yeah, but I mean, the you boca, just, boca. Ah. hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Before we, yeah, before we go anywhere, 
the issue that we're having with our Boca right now is this room is kind of small, you know, it's only like 15 feet wide. And in order to get Boca with this like F4 lens to compensate, you really got to uh, have your subject like off of uh, their background. So let, let's see, let's see, just play around with it real quick. Come on, baby. Come here. I need you as my subject. Why don't you be my subject? Come here, baby. I need you. Cameraman, you want to come over here? Hold on. My eye hurts. I got some time on my contact. I need to get really close to me, baby. <coughs> okay, so... Camera, uh... Let's see what we can get. Definitely not tired. She's definitely not tired. The numbers is changing. Yes, it is. It's just giving me a numerical reading to it. See that? So now we're green. That's telling me my subject's in focus. Yeah. Now, let's go ahead and get some recordage in here. Recordage? Record we're making a mistake. Uh-oh. We're making a mistake. Okay, because I don't know if y'all can tell from right there, the background is a little bit blurry. Is a bit blurry. Yeah, let's record this. Let's get a little bit of record going on, so we can just like kind of see how this bokeh looks. But we got we got a little trick to make this bokeh even better. How are we gonna make the bokeh better? Okay, so now we'll stop recording. We're gonna take this lens. We just made that lens a lot, right. a lot longer. Step back. Which is basically zoomed in. You see how close we got to the face? Yeah, that's good right there. So yeah, yeah, look. I got really zoomed in. We're like literally looking at our nostrils right now. <laughs> Okay, so let's zoom around. Right. Okay, look. Look, like, watch us get her in focus. Okay, come on, come on, guys. Okay, there you, go. you do have a good bokeh going on. Okay. But the big issue with that is you don't have much stabilization going on. Okay, go ahead and step, step back, babe. Again? Yeah. Okay. That'd be a good little thing for us to play around with. Is making somebody move around while we try to stay in manual focus. It'd be a lot better with uh, some sort of form of stabilization. Look at that bokeh now, though. It does look like some really good bokeh, I'll give you that. Crispy. I just don't see... Look how fucking crispy that is. It is. I'm, I'm, crisp, I'm crispy, buttery cream Go ahead right and step there. back again, babe. Eventually, we're going to lose it as we keep focusing in on our further away. Yeah, you're going to start zooming see in the look, background, yeah. So look, now we're focusing on that, that background back there. See, look, see the background? Now she looks like a ghost. Yep. Ooh. Okay. There we are. Now we're focused in on her. We got still some blurry background. You can see some of the stuff is coming too, though. But the thing that's nice about whenever you're in manual focus like we are now, uh, you can move around over to here, and like some things will stay out of focus. Like you see... The the punching bag is somewhat in the same plane as her. And when we say plane, like it still doesn't look nearly as crisp as her. Do what? You look very crisp. And see these lines here indicate how far out you are from from being in <coughs> in focus. So as we turn this in, when we get green, it's pretty much as crisp as you're gonna get it now. Yeah, I like that. that's cool. Makes it uh, very intuitive for the user. Yeah, it's a bit chilly. Cardigan. A cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> look at that bokeh. She looks so hot with some bokeh on her. It does look very majestic. Gosh, damn. Mmm. Mmm. What are you doing, like, looking at my what? nostrils? Mmm. Like, oh, it's some, it is some nice yeah. nostrils. You want to play it? You want to see that? Look at that bokeh. Look at that bokeh. Yeah. Fuzzy, buttery smooth. Oh my god, my face is so. Step back. Let me get the focus angle on you. Look at that. That looks like a movie, don't it? Yeah. It's a movie. 
Look at that bokeh back there. Look how crisp she looks. Look at that bokeh. Can you barely see what's back there? Should have done the TV, so you could definitely tell there was some stuff going on back there, but like, not tell what it is. Yeah. Look at that. It looks like a uh, soap opera. Yeah, I remember just watching one yesterday. Or was that the day before? I can't remember. <laughs> I lose my days. That was Saturday. Is that not yesterday? No. What's today? Today's Monday? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, it does look good, though. It does look very crisp. I think I put Damn. a muscle in my dad. That's why you go with the EOSR. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you spend $3,500. It's the only way you're going to get a good bokeh. Are we going to... Uh, they say that it does have you... the best 1080p, one of the best 1080p's on the market. Are yeah. you taking your camera too when we go to Texas? Oh, yeah, definitely. You said, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Like, not sarcasm? No, not, not sarcasm. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, I plan on doing uh, my own separate, like, little recordings. I'm like, not used to A lot of these kind of things. I, I like how you were uh, interactive yeah, with the audience, definitely. teaching them, um, you know, about your DSLR. And how to get a good bokeh. Fuck, dude, this is making me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like watching the camera, and you like come in, and I'm like, I'm moving the camera, and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, All right. Okay. But yeah, I think that, that that is a wrap for this live broadcast. Behind the scenes with Family and Fit, learning some bokeh. Subscribe. 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 Leeches. Uh, leeches. Yeah, leeches. S subscribe, <laughs> leeches. How do you end this? And I normally don't look like this. You just press the X, right? Pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Let me get this. It's so meta. Hold on. Don't no, move. Oh, don't move? Okay. I'm not moving. Uh, come on. Get real meta with it. Yeah, get real meta. Get <laughs> real meta. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Get in meta. Go, yeah, yeah. Get in the meta. Why come over here? <coughs> Are you doing the red or is that my camera? That's my camera. Doing the red? What, man? Look in the, look in here. Look. What the hell? That's weird. It's, it's, I think it's over, saying it's overexposed. My eyeballs. Alright guys. Alright guys, I'm here. Peace. Adios, amigos. I love you. I love you like a play cousin. <laughs> Subscribe right now. Do it.